Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownload Blog, and in this video I want to share over 10 new gestures that are brought over with iPad OS 13. I'm running it on my iPad Pro, but this will be the same experience for any iPad that supports iPad OS. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so from your home screen you have the new widget view, which is essentially the same view that you could get by swiping over to the right anyway, but now it's just on your home screen. And you can access this by swiping up and your widgets will be exposed just like that. Now everything else is going to be very similar. Swipe up to get into multitasking, swipe up a little bit to get to your dock when you're in an app, down for control center from the top right, and down towards the middle or left for notification center. That's all about the same. Now when you're in an application and you have the slide over, which is that floating pane on the side, now you can add more apps to it. So if you drag over an application like I can do here, It'll drag that application over and you can switch through it just like multitasking on the iPhone 10. And you can also slide up to see all of the apps that are open in that tabbed view. But to close this, it's no longer sliding over from the top. In fact, that's going to give you controls to bring this into a full multitasking window. Rather, it is from the edge you slide over and it will close. And the same thing if it is over here, you have to slide over and close it and then you can bring it back like that. Now there are new multi-touch gestures. So if I have something selected such as in notes, if I do the three finger drag in, it is going to copy. And if I do that again, it will actually cut it. And if I go down and do a three finger spread, it will paste. Now my other options are three finger swipe back to undo, three finger swipe to the right to redo, or I can simply tap with three fingers and it will bring open your commands. So when you have that, you have your undo, cut, copy, paste, and redo commands just with a three finger tap. Now in terms of cursor support, you can just drag the cursor wherever you want it. So if you find your cursor, bring it down, move it wherever you want it. To highlight or select something, you don't have to wait for the bubble anymore. The bubble doesn't exist. So you tap and hold just a little bit and then you just move your finger and it will drag and pick up whatever text you selected. Now in the keyboard, if you pinch in, it will bring up again an iPhone 10 style keyboard and you have the access to swipe. And you can expand, very simply. And finally, you can bring up the very cool and functional feature of exposés on this iPad. So if you do a slightly extended tap on an iPad, you can see show all windows. When you click on that, it'll bring up all the windows you have open, all the different instances of an application. So you can do it that way by tapping and holding just a little bit longer and you can get that menu. Or if you're actually in the app and you swipe up and it's in the multitasking bar, you can click it there and it'll bring up all your different instances. So I have a bunch of different Safari windows, but you can do it for other apps too. And so now you can have exposés, which is awesome for an iPad. So those are the new gestures on iPad OS. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.